From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Rory Johnston with your very latest headlines. Emmanuel Sampson takes the stand and tells jurors he has PTSD and was suicidal in the months before the Antioch church shooting. He's accused of killing one and injuring seven more in the 2017 shooting. Sampson's father and girlfriend also testified on his behalf. His father discussed Sampson's history of mental health issues. His girlfriend showed the jury a note that he left her on the day of the shooting. It said, quote, I'm terribly sorry for not living up to your expectations. I never deserved you. She believed it was a suicide note. Mayoral candidates pitched their plans for easing traffic in our city at the first mayoral forum today. All four candidates were there. They agreed transit and traffic are a top priority, but they had different ideas on how to fix it. Dr. Carol Swain said she would not support a referendum to give voters the choice to dedicate funding to transit, but representatives John Ray Clemens and Metro Council member John Cooper said they would. Mayor Briley said he'd prefer to improve transit first, so when voters do have a choice, they say yes. Hatch show prints will sell their popular NFL team designs. The league commissioned them to celebrate last month's draft in Nashville, but did not give them permission to sell them. But today, Hatch announced they'd received permission from the NFL. Each is handmade with special print and ink. You can pre-order now for $25. Now with a check of this warm weather, here's Bree. Yeah, and it's going to get downright steamy as we head into the weekend. Overnight tonight, we're in the upper 60s, feeling like late June, not late May. And we continue our stretch of 90 degree days. 91 for your top temperature on Thursday. That ties a record. Highs forecast of 94 Friday and Saturday will break records. Long standing records as well. Saturday's record goes all the way back to 1926. And the 90s don't stop there. They take us all the way to the middle of next week.